Welcome everybody. This is the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for February 19th. It's the day after President's Day. It's uh, the day after the holiday. And our purpose is to show you that every day there are opportunities to make money with stock options if you have the right knowledge, the right training, the right coaching, and the right tools, specifically our amazing software that does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. So I'm Scott Patton, your host, and joining us is Rob. Coach Rob, how are you doing today? Great, Scott. How about yourself? Awesome. All right. And one of the advantages of doing this type of, uh, if I can call it work, it's more like shooting fish in a barrel, is you're able to travel the world and uh, do it from anywhere. And I happen to be on a tropical island in the Philippines right now. So if I break up, that is why. But hopefully we won't have any technical issues. So Coach Rob, how did everything work out this Tuesday? Oh, it was pretty good. It was uh, a, a decent day on the bull side. And that, that applies whether you're in the Philippines, in Colorado, like myself, or wherever you're watching this video from. It was, I'm going to show you the basket as we typically do to start the review. The basket on five minute candles throughout the day, you can see it stayed above opening price throughout the day. So we were looking for bull moves, green moves, that is, moves trends upward. You can see it kind of had fits and starts, had three pretty good green moves. And then if you just kind of backed up, you know, we raised those last 15 minutes of the day, there really wasn't a lot of bear action. So what we'll be looking for is mostly calls in the options day trading discipline, I guess you'd say. Not work, but just a little little couple hours in the morning and you make your profit and you move on for the day. So that was spy. It's a beach uh, like I'm going to do. I, exactly. Right. Just enjoy your time. Right. We're only on this on this earth for a short amount of time. So might as well enjoy it. There was spy also for the complete day. But let's go all the way back to the beginning of the day. And we'll watch one of these trades as it forms right from the beginning. Change this to one minute candles. And I'd like to look at Netflix. We, do, we don't, you know, in our coaching program, we, we don't uh, advise trading in those first five minutes of the market. And the reason behind that is because typically there's overnight trading. Um, it can be wildly volatile uh, overnight. It can get a little bit rowdy. And when only those few select few with big pockets can move their money overnight and the rest of us peasants can't, uh, we have to wait for 930. So if you don't have any positions that you're holding overnight, let those first five minutes just go by. It's a little bit too risky because it's still settling in from overnight trading. But once you hit 9.35, like we're seeing here with Netflix, you can see it started off nice and green. Netflix had a small gap down, which would be signified by this purple window right here. That was the range of the overnight trading. So we're breaking out of that range uh, on the green side, move up. And when Netflix breaks this line here, which is the pivot, pivot can be resistance or support, whether it's a, a green or a red trend, it's kind of that central point. So right now, Netflix is telling us, hey, we've got volume. We, we are, this stock is behaving in a green manner, in a bull move uh, so far. So let's buy a, bring over our buy and close options window. This is the replay simulator. So you can kind of freeze the, the action. And this is where you're learning. So you interpret trends starting and you buy your call. It automatically accounts for the commissions that you would be charged in the live market. And you can move forward 10 seconds at a time or one minute at a time. So let's do just that. We'll move one minute at a time, keeping an eye on this 360 price point. And, you know, when there's big round numbers, sometimes a stock will, you know, stick to it or bounce off of it. So let's just see what happens cautiously. Move forward one minute. It's, it's thinking about it. It's trying to. It's still got a green candle. And now we're starting to breach that 360 mark and make a little move upward nice 4% in three minutes. And then really that that should be our cue to exit when you get that volume spike and a nice big fat candle that kind of mirrors the candle that started it. It's a good time to, to exit because volume spikes tend to, not always, but tend to start and stop trends. So let's take that nice 11%, close out of our call and move on to the next one. If you move forward just a little bit past that 945 mark, we see another green trend forming. In this case, let's look at Amazon. 948, Amazon had had a nice green start, just like Netflix did. 
but it it stalled out right around the same time, 9, 938, 940, and it just went sideways around the pivot. So where Netflix broke up, Amazon just kind of went sideways until now. It just really was just taking a breath. Sometimes with these tickers, you tend to give them kind of human characteristics. So it had run some sprints early in the morning and then it needed a breather. Now it's ready to sprint again. So Amazon wants to take on a green move. We're at a CLV of 92. Nice. The one thing, again, we want to watch out for is this big round price number, 1620. It touched it once and had a little bit of a wick and it retraced. So let's just keep an eye on that. It's, it's still a nice sprint taking off that we can see forming as we get our indicators coming on, K-band here in this case, and a little bit of volume. But let's just be cautious as it you know creeps up towards 1620. By that call, we'll move forward one minute at a time. Okay, so we're starting to get some, some pullback. If it's gonna power through, it's going to really take off and okay, so there, it breaks 1620 and it was sort of sideways. We had that nice volume spike at the end, but that's more of an exit signal than a, hey, stay in for a long trade signal. So we can either close with 7%. I would right there. And as, as you're wont to do, let's take a look at what happens. It did, it charged right up to RA and that probably would have been a you know, 10, 12%, but sometimes it's better to take the base hit that you're, you're sure of than it is to go for a home run on every swing. We know that that leads to striking out. Nobody wants that. And we had one more call to, to analyze or to review. And this one was on IWM. Now, if you are watching this and you're interested in getting started trading, we do have 10 day free trial that we offer with videos that'll teach you lessons just like this right on our home screen. It's all, it's free for 10 days. You got, you can watch as many videos and practice in the replay simulator like this as much as you want. There, there is no wearing it out. So realize that you have the, the power in your hands. So just sign up for a free trial and start defining your rules. You can base them off of what coach Jess and I talk about with Scott here, or you can just kind of log it and, and kind of do a scatter shot until something clicks until you figure out what your strategy is. But what we talk about here is some of the basic principles. And what you'll learn if you, if you take that trial is breaking out of the risk zone. That's what this orange section is. Just, just means your, your, your risk is reduced of a, of a turnaround. Also, breaking out of a previous high. That's pretty big because the people driving the stock, we're, we're trading the option, but the people driving the stock are paying attention to price points like 156.25 with the quarter marks, especially the round numbers, 155, 156. So when a, the underlying stock behaves or, or crosses one of those lines, it can be a powerful moment for the stock traders. And us option traders, if we're paying attention, we can capitalize on that. So IWM is making another attempt to break out of its, its kind of 945, its, its high for the day. So let's get a call and see if this trend materializes. There it goes, it's testing that Y point from earlier, that's a little bit of resistance. And now it's starting to break above it at the 11.05 mark, and we've clearly got a higher high there. So we, we, we're pretty confident that we've entered a good trade. Conditions are kind of bland, but IWM's running on its own. And now we've got some nice, nice higher highs forming. That could be the end of it. It's at the high for the day. Let's see what happens as we progress forward. We're at 11.08 and we got a volume spike there. IWM had not had a lot of volume. So we're close to 10%. It's been several minutes. Let's see, we got in at 11.03, 11.02. So it's been seven minutes. I think we should close there with close to 10% and- uh, Take the sure thing. Exactly, yeah, take another single. But that's it. We got uh, three nice trades, an early one with Netflix for over 10%, and then Amazon and IWM, 7 and 8.8%. 8 .8%. Beautiful, beautiful set of trades, all done in a short period of time. And when you've got the tools, when you've got the coaching, when you have, when you have the system in place, it's not, it's not difficult. It doesn't mean that it's 100% and 
every time you're guaranteed to, to make something because that's obviously not the way the stock market works. But when you have all of the, uh, everything working in your favor, then it changes your, uh, your, your chances uh, pretty significantly for being successful. Right, and Scott, just to your point real quick, we've, we've got coaching programs you can enroll in, but really the number one ingredient to becoming a good day trader is just familiarity. Just get in there, you have to put in the time, you have to understand chart patterns and what these indicators mean, kind of not, not predicting what's coming next, but just witnessing and observing the behavior and watching these transform. And, and really, once you get to the point where you say, I've seen this movie play out, you know, this trend form, you know, hundreds of times in my head. Now I see it happening on the chart and you have that epiphany. Like, okay. That's the beauty of our replays. We go back, I'm not sure if it's five or seven years. So you can be in every type of market, you know, the bull markets, the bear markets, the quiet markets and practice. And, you know, it's really one thing when there's a huge bear market and you, every time you buy a call, you make money or there's, or put, you make money or there's a huge, bull market and every time you uh, get a call, you make money. But oftentimes that's not the case. We're in a, a market that's kind of trying to decide if it's gonna go up or go down. So you need to make sure that you've, you're familiar with all those types of markets. And then when you, it's, then it becomes like, I was always think of cyber in the movie, The Matrix, when he looks at all those lines going up and down, he says, there's a redhead and there's a blonde, and there's a brunette, right? You start to see the same things. And the other thing is I, a lot of times stocks have personalities because there are certain types of people that gravitate to certain stocks. And then you start realizing, wow, this is the patterns that are there. And if you can take advantage of the pattern, it's like if you look at the waves, if you're a surfer, right? Yep. Soon you get to know, hey, this is a good wave to ride. It takes a little bit of time and a little bit of practice. But if you're in the game, you're going you're gonna to be successful. Absolutely. Yep. And the essentially looks like waves on the chart. If you start zoom out big picture. So just catch, right. catch the right one that fits your rules. Great. Awesome. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Thank you, Coach Rob, for sharing your knowledge. This has been the Day Trading Trader Genius Daily Review for February 19th, 2019. And we'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Cool. And you stopped recording.